Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to day 18 of 30 Days of Nime. Yesterday, we had some fun with a group by Node, which is, again, a powerhouse for data aggregations. Now, today, we're going to be looking at the pivoting node. Let me first show you why sometimes this is necessary. So right now, I'd like to know what percentage of flights for each airline for each year was canceled. If I try to do this by the group by node, this is what happens. Let's say I try to aggregate by the year, the airline, and the cancellations to get a count of how many were canceled. This is what that's gonna look like. So airline name, year, and then canceled. And then over here, do account. Here's what that looks like. I have a whole column for cancellation and I have the flag of true or false. So I have this data, but the way it looks like, it's not very easy to understand what's going on. Ideally, I would like to have two different columns for the count of cancellations based on true or false. So true canceled, false, false canceled as separate columns. That's something you can easily do with the pivoting node, and that makes it easier to make certain comparisons. So you just search for pivot, pivoting. You drag it to your workflow. You connect it, and you open it. Let me give an overview. So on this page, you get to define which groups you want to have for your data. The best way to look at this is what do you want your rows to be based on? So for me, my rows should be based on the airline name and also the year. And then here, you get to decide what columns would you like to have. Remember, I would like to have two columns, one column to have the count of flights which were canceled and the other column to have the count of flights which were not canceled. So my columns should be based off of canceled. And then for the aggregation, what do I want to aggregate? Well, I'd like to know how many flights were canceled and not canceled. And to do that, I can use any of these columns and just get a count, but I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do a count. Now notice that you're also able to get percentages from aggregations, but if I click on this, it's actually not going to do what I want because it's going to give me the percent of occurrences for that specific class in my whole data set. So for instance, this will give me a percent of flights which were canceled by American Airlines for the year 2000 across the entire, uh, divided by the total flights in the entire data set, which is not really what I want. What I want to know is for each airline for each year, what percent of flights were canceled. And to do that, I'll need to involve other nodes, which I'm going to get to in this video as well. So it's gonna be a bit of a lengthy one, but I think it's very, very important stuff to know. If you go to the description, just like we have with the group by node, you can see your methods of aggregations and what each one means. And like almost every other node in NIME, you also can use flow variables, which allow you to build a very, very dynamic and robust workflow. And here you have the memory policy, which you can change to make things more efficient. Over on the options for configuration, you can change how your column name appears. You can process in memory to improve performance. You can retain the rule or order if you know that's important to you. And you can enable highlighting for, for visualizations. And you can also sort things if you'd like to sort them. So everything is set up. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we have. Notice that when you have a question mark, a question mark here equates to zero. So for the year 2000, American West Airlines, America West Airlines had zero cancellations. So I'm going to replace this in a second. But let me show you the data ports. So you have the pivot table, which is exactly what you see here in the node monitor. That gives me exactly what I want. So it gives me for each year and each airline how many flights were not canceled and how many flights were canceled. In the second output port, I get to see the group totals. So here the group total equates to the total flights for each airline for each year. 
and then over here I get to see the pivot totals so that gives me across the entire board so across the entire range of my data how many flights that I have which were not cancelled and how many flights that I have which were cancelled now I'm gonna bring in some other notes to the parte so that this is a more you know complete mini analysis so the first thing I want to do is I want to fix these missing values and you are familiar at this point with the missing value um, node that helps us fix missing values. We did this uh, earlier on in this series. So for numbers, I want to fix this to a zero because the question mark here means there are zero canceled flights. So I run that and now here we have zeros. And I would like to rename these columns to not canceled and canceled because that will make things easier for especially someone who is not me to understand what's going on in my workflow. And now from this point, we are going to introduce the math formula node. Now the math formula node is not one I covered earlier on because with the columns expressions node, you can do pretty much everything you can do with the string manipulation and the math formula node. But for this case, I'm going to use the math formula node. Basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to see the proportion of flights which were cancelled for each airline for each year. So I'm going to add these two together and then divide this one by the total of that. So here I'm going to call it proportion, prop for proportion cancelled. And that is going to be So there we have the proportions. If you wanted to, you can multiply to make it look more like percentage. So now we can go in here and we can sort. And then let's sort this by the sending by year so we can see things year wise. So for the year 2016, United Airlines actually had the most cancellations. About 3% rounded up of their flights were cancelled. American Airlines was at about 2%. Now remember that Southwest Airlines is actually the airline with, with the most flights coming into Florida, but they're number four in cancellation. So they seem rather reliable considering that they're the biggest providers of incoming flights to Florida. But you can see how using the pivoting node, you can splice off and reorganize your data in a way that lets you get some pretty fast and pretty cool insights. I'm going to leave a link for some more resources to learn the pivoting table because I think it's one of the really, really important ones to know in NIME as well as the group by node, which I did cover yesterday. So if you're interested in that, then go back and watch that video and the resources I provided for it as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys. This is the end of today and I shall see you tomorrow where we shall start looking at cleaning up textual data and using that to get some insights as well. Have a nice weekend, guys. Goodbye.